What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. The Twin Yordles are a cancelled champion that were designed by Riot Feral Pony way back in the day, and they actually had a really interesting concept and I definitely want to take a look at them and shed some light on one of the lesser known cancelled champions in League of Legends, and definitely bring up the question, should Riot release the Twin Yordles? And if you guys enjoy the video, definitely hit that like button, and if you don't enjoy the video, feel free to hit the dislike button too, and let's begin. So we initially found out about the Twin Yordles concept from Riot Feral Pony. He's actually been really awesome in providing us with some information about champion development in general. And this particular concept hasn't entirely been talked about publicly all that much. So until Riot Feral Pony mentioned it, it was a little bit tricky to figure out like what this champion actually did. The foundation of the concept was that they would be a transforming champion, kind of like other stance swappers like Nidalee, Elise, or Jace, or something like that. But one thing that really set them apart from the others though, was that instead of transforming like Nidalee or changing the way they use their weapon like Jace, they would just swap between two completely different champions. One of the Yordles was an explosives expert using his bombs as his go-to weapon, and the other Yordle initially had a gun. The easiest way to think about it is to maybe just imagine playing Ziggs and then having a button that, would, that you could push that would turn you into Caitlyn and you could swap back and forth at will. The Twin Yordles were eventually cancelled for animation and thematic problems, you know, having to swap between two different champion models, as well as auto attack animations, ability animations, and even stuff like emotes or walking around would have been really complicated to make work, and would have been a ton of work for a pretty strange looking result at the time. The theme of having a twin champion is actually pretty awesome though, so when Riot say thematics was a problem, it's more likely that the main issue was that one half was super fun and really awesome to play, and the other half was like kinda boring or just not that interesting. It's really important that transformation champions have a strong theme to tie each half of the kits together, and it sounds like that just wasn't happening for the twin yordles. And normally when we take a look at cancelled champion concepts, we have some of the original artwork from the development stages, but unfortunately with the Twin Yordles, there's actually no official concept art that we could find. All we really know for sure is that Riot really liked the bomb version of the Yordle, so we actually got fast-tracked into development and was turned into the standalone Yordle champion of Ziggs. Riot Ezreal also chimed in about the concept on one of his Q&A threads a while back, mentioning what appears to be a slightly different version of the Twin Yordle champion. The concept that Ezreal shared still featured a bomb Yordle, but apparently the second Yordle had a rocket launcher instead, and they rode around on like a motorcycle and a sidecar. It's likely that this was just a different iteration of the same concept rather than a completely different cancelled champion, but it does potentially give you a bit of an idea on how the champion would maybe play out. Like it'd be pretty weird if you played one champion and the other just kind of followed them around until you swapped to the other twin, kind of like Donkey and Diddy in Donkey Kong Country if you've ever played that. So in this case having them both riding together on a motorcycle and sidecar definitely makes a lot more sense, since the one that's fighting just hops into the sidecar while the other kind of drives them around on Summoner's Rift. It's actually a pretty adorable concept honestly, but it sounds like it would have been a ton of work to make it work properly. Now as far as their actual abilities and gameplay goes, we know that they pretty much had nothing in common with each other among the forms, so it wasn't entirely about swapping between them to abuse the synergy between their kits, it was more about like each would have particular strengths in certain scenarios. For example, maybe when you're wave clearing you want access to the bombs, maybe when you want to conserve your mana and deal a lot of auto attack damage or poke you swap into the gun yordle. We also don't know exactly all that much about how each of them scaled, it seems a little bit unlikely for Riot to make a split champion that half scales with AD, half scales with AP, but that could have potentially definitely been the case, so maybe the Twin Yordles was like a dedicated hybrid champion who was meant to be flexible enough to be played in a bunch of different ways but without being super good at one particular thing. It's a little bit difficult to imagine where a champion like that would be played though, maybe the mid lane I guess, since it's the best place to switch up playstyles on the fly. You know, if you wanted to stack AP and kill enemies, you'd go for a burst mage champion, you want to farm up and carry late game, you can pick an AD carry, but with the twin Yordle concept, maybe you wouldn't be able to kill as well early or as well late, but you could kind of do a little bit of both, or whichever you felt like doing at the time. Now we don't know all that much about the Gun Yordle's kit, Riot Feral Pony himself actually even told us that he couldn't recall anything about it so it probably would have been kind of standard, but the Bomb Yordle did have abilities that were somewhat similar to Ziggs, so it's easy to see why they ended up focusing on him and turning him into an actual individual champion. 
One of the abilities that survived onto Ziggs that originally was a part of the Twin Yordles was the Satchel Charge ability, although it was a little bit different when they designed it for the Twin Yordles. The concept was still kind of the same, it would throw a bomb trap on the ground and you could either use it for damage, crowd control, or even just to knock yourself through the air as an escape or an engage tool. Originally it was not a skill shot that you would detonate for yourself though, it was actually designed to be a vector cast ability, kind of like how Rumble's ultimate works or Victor's E or something like that, and you would have to step on the trap to detonate it, rather than actually detonating it manually. We're not entirely sure what about this ability made it a vector cast, but it's most likely that the vector cast would decide which direction units were knocked towards once they finally stepped on the trap. Unlike the final version of Ziggs' Satchel Charge, where it depends on which side of the trap you're standing on when it detonates. One part of the Twin Ural kit that is really interesting and is probably the biggest thing that set them apart and made them really unique is that they were not designed to swap forms as their ultimate like the other transformation champions in the game. Instead, you would swap between a basic ability, it used their E ability, meaning they both had their own separate long cooldown ultimate abilities, which definitely has some really interesting implications for gameplay, but it would kind of depend on how the ultimates maybe work. For example, if one ultimate would put the other ultimate on cooldown, then you'd have to kind of choose to use one of them, whichever situation fit best that you happen to be in at the time. On the other hand, it's possible, in fact, it's the most likely that the ultimates actually had separate cooldowns. So you could use one, swap to the other Yordle, and then use the other ultimate ability. And that sounds pretty crazy OP, but it's definitely not unreasonable that you could design that in a balanced way, since each form only has three abilities each. And the ultimates might not have synergized together all that well at all, and they would have been ultimate abilities that were probably weaker than standard champion ultimates as well. If that was the case, you could also choose to use one and then maybe use the other when the first was like halfway done with the cooldown, and essentially you could end up with like two alternating ultimates or something on half of the conventional cooldown, which could be pretty powerful if you find the right time to fire them off, but it's definitely an interesting way to design a champion and is something that could be really cool to see come to the game. Speaking of ultimates though, we actually know exactly what the Bomb Yordle ultimate was originally. Essentially, it was like a giant Ziggs E, and it actually probably inspired the design for Ziggs' E later on. Hexplosive Minefield currently throws down 11 mines, which detonate to slow and damage an enemy. Now imagine if the radius was between 3 and 6 times bigger, and you've got an idea of what the Bomb Yordle Ultimate was like. At level 1, it would create 32 mines. At level 3, it would create 64, making it just an absolutely massive ultimate that would create a huge minefield big enough to block an entire lane or maybe even the river altogether. Obviously having an ultimate that big could introduce a ton of gameplay issues, I mean literally the only option to survive on low health would be to stand still until the mines disappeared, and it could potentially give a huge advantage to teams that were fighting within the minefield, because it would be just so difficult to avoid, but it's a really cool idea for an ability that would have been so much fun to see in the game for real, and I guess we did kind of get it in the form of Ziggs' E eventually. Anyway, that just about wraps up all of the information that we actually know about the Twin Yordles and what Riot Feral Pony was willing to share. You know, it's definitely clear that this concept in and of itself is not going to make it back in its original form, since Riot did decide to split the Bomb Yordle off from the concept and develop it until it became Ziggs, but the idea of a pair of like twin champions that you swap with, or a champion that has the swap that's not a part of the ultimate, so therefore you have two separate ultimates, is really awesome, so hopefully Riot do try to make it work again in the future. What would be really interesting though is if they maybe tried to make it so that you could play both halves at once. So you have like two champions to control instead of one, maybe some abilities could trigger actions from both halves, or maybe you press R to swap between which one you want to control. I know Dota has a similar concept in the form of a character named Meepo, who can create clones of himself that are controlled separately, making him like super difficult to play but also like really rewarding and fun for a lot of people. Riot does like to keep things a little bit more casual than Dota though, so maybe that micromanagement aspect is a little bit too high of a barrier to entry for Riot to justify making a champion like that, or maybe it's just a mechanic that they don't want to see in the game, but it's definitely still an awesome concept that would be pretty cool to see come to League of Legends. Either way, definitely let us know what you think about the Twin Yordles, maybe tell us what you would do if you could design your own pair of Yordle champions. Either way, looks like that's going to be it for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe if you want. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.